boy, oh boy, do I have a story to tell. It involves a wardrobe failure. Yes. <laughs> that is super embarrassing. I you ready for it? Yes. yes. Okay, so I literally, I'm embarrassed okay. to tell you this. Don't okay. be. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I did next? Did you wash your hands? No, I smelled it. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. No. Hey, it's your friend Mel, and welcome to the Mel Robbins Podcast. Let's do this. I am so excited for today. I came running up the stairs above the garage here in our studio in Vermont, and boy, oh boy, do I have a story to tell. Not only you, but I'm sitting here with my friends and colleagues, Amy and Jesse. Say hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> okay. So I think we're going to call this a jump on a mic kind of mm. uh, episode because yeah. this is going to be super random, but I promise you there's a point to it. I have a freaking hilarious story to tell you guys. I can't Ooh. wait. It involves a wardrobe failure. Yes. <laughs> that is super embarrassing and uh, really, really funny. I you ready for it? Yes. yes. Okay. So first of all, I have a question for everybody. Is there any better feeling hmm. than taking your bra off at the end of the day? No. <laughs> Period. <laughs> That's a let loose feeling. Yes. Yeah. How would you describe that? Like you literally oh. reach back, unhook. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, do you ever get like the itchy, like, ooh, you just want to rub underneath. Like you just want to just a little shake. Shake them loose. Yeah. Well, mine sort of fall like pancakes well, flat against Gravity me, so. doesn't help, but. Yes. Yes. <laughs> There's, it's a good feeling. It's like, it just is like a giant. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know what I wonder? Do dudes have a like do they have like a let loose moment hmm. they might always be loose <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, seriously it's a serious question yeah. is there a moment for a guy that feels as freeing as unhooking your bra i think like you think about a guy in traditional sense back in the 50s coming home from work walk through the door first thing he does Loosen up his tie. Mm. That is not, I don't think. What about good. a belt? No? A belt? I would say if the belt is quite tight and it's holding a lot in, mm. that would probably be like, oh, God. Yeah. Maybe a cup after a sports game. <laughs> but that's not like an everyday thing. No. You know, I was thinking about Chris. <laughs> I have to ask Chris about this. In fact, I'll text him. We'll see if he can come up here. Did Good you thing. wear shapewear at your wedding, Jesse? I did not wear shapewear Why? at my wedding. <clears throat> Isn't that when everybody does? It's your wedding night. You gotta have some quick, easy access after that <laughs> night's wrap. We can't be, we can't be scrambling to get that off. Oh, it's one thing oh to get the dress off, God. but then like that's gonna be super glued after a night. No way. That's there, true. It's like this beige <laughs> sausage casing uh -uh. that you're gonna roll. There off. was boob tape, but that's fine. Hi, hey, baby. Hi. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we got a question for you. Okay. Mike, please. Okay. What's up? Earth okay, movie. so we got a question for you. There is almost no better feeling for a woman than to take her bra off at the end of the day or to take off one of those Spanx, Skims, shapewear things. What is the equivalent for a dude? of removing a piece of apparel just freedom like you just are like oh well i didn't play a lot of football but i would imagine removing a jock strap would be a little bit like that yep. you know if you wear a pair of tight like skin tight exercise shorts yep for a, for many hours yep i think that would be like pulling off spanks for a guy as far as like releasing the tension from your skin if that's what you're talking about or some discomfort or is that right? I guess. Or it doesn't sound that compelling. What about your bike shorts? So you've been out for a 70 mile ride. You're wearing a pair of padded bike shorts. You're, you my know, my crotch is yes. like on fire. Yes. And yes. When you yeah. roll that off, like a, like a <laughs> pair of pantyhose, what does my that feel like? My balls hurt. The yes. Whole deal. Yes. Yeah. That feels pretty good. Really? Yeah. Um, but you know, the amount of sort of abuse that my nuts are taking in the saddle on a bike ride is very different than your breasts over the course of a day, right? 
Well, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> what do you think she does all day? <laughs> I, I don't know. With her breasts. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's some feeling associated with removing the brassiere. That yeah, well, I just figured your, your, your balls, your doodle dads that you call them sometimes, <laughs> that they just kind of drop a little, and that feels very freeing. Um, yeah, like I said, no different than, well, I guess for you wearing Spanx, there's nothing dropping, um, <laughs> right? It's just, but yeah, that's a good feeling. What did you think about those skims that I bought, the bodysuits? They look good. It looks kind of uncomfortable to me. <laughs> I mean, it looks kind of t <laughs> a little tight. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I would go with that, even though I could use that on my my little rubber tummy. Your rubber tummy. You're very cute. All right. That's all we needed. Thank you. You're welcome. We love you. Ladies and gentlemen, Christopher Robbins. Thanks for representing. Yes. Awesome. And I would love to know, for you listening, is there something that we're missing here that you feel is that moment of it's just like, at the end of the day, I, I you guys are so uh, creative and uh, very uh, sort of interesting in your insights about these things. And so I guarantee you we're missing a couple. So I can't wait to hear what you write in about. But the reason why I'm telling you this story is because yesterday I experienced a moment of body freedom that was, I would say... <laughs> maybe 25 times more liberating than taking a bra off at the end of the day. 25 Whoa. times? Whoa. Body yes. freedom. Yes. It also involves a major wardrobe failure. Ooh. Oh. So let me tell you the story, okay? And <laughs> yeah. as I tell you the story, I would love for you to think about some wardrobe failure that maybe you've had. Oh. Because these seem to happen to me all the time. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but... So here's here's what happened. So my uh, daughters have recently introduced me to shapewear. Um, mm. I'm a huge fan of Sarah Blakely. No, that's not her name. Yeah. No, that's the famous actress. Ba Blakely? Blake Lively? Blake, Blake Lively. <laughs> Who am I thinking of? Sarah Blakely. Sarah Blakely. Sarah Blakely. Yeah. Okay, I immediately had a yeah. panic that I was saying her name wrong. Yeah. So Sarah Blakely, the founder of Spanx, we have yeah. spoken at a bunch of events uh, together. She is a rock star. I love her story. I love, uh, but I've never been, sorry, Sarah, a huge fan of shapewear. Mm. And one of the reasons why is because when Spanx first came out, and this is not like a slam on Spanx, but when they first came out and I bought a high waisted pair of bike shorts, they give me gas. I, I don't know <laughs> if that's like a new, th I don't know if that's me, but I felt like the compression was so compressed or maybe oh. I bought the wrong size that I <laughs> felt gassy and crampy all day wearing shapewear oh, and no. also I bought these bike shorts because I was wearing a pair of trousers and I did not want the bike shorts to show I mean I didn't want my my underwear lines to show yeah but I could see the bike short line right in my pants like so above thought, your knee yeah so i thought okay yeah. i'm getting gas i have cramps it's sort of like the same thing as when you wear really high-waisted pants yeah. and you sit down and it's like a tourniquet on your stomach yeah. yes just cuts at the yes. wrong spot yeah. so i probably just bought the wrong style mm -hmm. and wore it with the wrong thing yeah so um i have not worn shapewear do you guys wear shapewear i did i have yeah and then we moved to vermont <laughs> 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 you don't need it up here. That's true. No. Yeah. You really don't. Yeah. Let everything go. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just let it all hang out. No, I still have it. I, I I can almost guarantee you that if I were to bring it in and show it to you and you were to take the, the waistband and just kind of like uh. flex it a little bit, it would probably disintegrate because I just yeah. have never wear it. it. Yeah. 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 And I have so it's many ancient. friends that swear by the Spanx jeans that swear mm -hmm. by and the and the product's fantastic. So, Sarah, we love you. Yeah. Uh, you're incredible. So here's what happened. My daughter Kendall was up and I asked her if she would help me go through my closet because I am trying to get rid of clothes mm. that don't fit because I'm now in the middle of menopause. So I feel like a Twinkie on legs <laughs> and I realize I look very lean, but when your middle expands, your pants don't fit. Right. Plain and simple. And so I was trying on clothes and my daughter came to this conclusion that the reason why I hate my clothes is because I have no shapewear. And I have saggy bras. 
Hmm. So she's saying shapewear is essential. Yes. To yes. enjoy really? the way you look yes. in clothes. Yes. And wow. so she pulled up news. the internet. <laughs> and she went to <laughs> pulled up the yeah. Internet. She went to Skims, which is Kim Kardashian's line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know, if anybody other than Sarah Blakely is going to make uh, shapewear, Kim Kardashian seems yeah. like the perfect person to do that. Mm-hmm. And we ordered a bunch of stuff. So it arrives. It comes in this box. I pull this stuff out. I kid you not, the tank top bodysuit looks so oh. small. It looks like Barbie oh. clothing. That's how small it is. <laughs> I pull it out. I'm like, this is not going to fit me. How's Did you order on? the children's size? She's like, Mom, this is perfect. This is exactly how it looks. I'm like, are you kidding me? I can't fit my body in this. <laughs> and so she coaches me through getting it on. And basically, you stretch it, like, you know, to kind of loosen it up a little like bit. Like a balloon or least, before you're yeah, going to throw it up. Yeah, or at least I had to. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, I stepped into it, and you sort of, like, yank it up on your body. And it's a lot like pulling sausage casing up oh. over your body very thin stretches okay. out i put it on she ordered me the thong okay which i probably would not have done but i gotta give props to kim kardashian because the thong was not a string mm. it actually was like a landing strip there was enough there so it was not going to go right up my rear end and so i put it on and i looked in the mirror and i'm like dang <laughs> this this looks pretty damn good oh my God. not gonna not gonna lie yeah so here's the mistake i made I tried it on. I'm like, this is great. Yeah. And then I took it off and went on with my life. Uh, I didn't walk around in it. Oh. Mm -hmm. I didn't sit down in it. I didn't test it for real life. You have to test drive your underwear. (laughs) That is true, actually. You do. Yeah. Well, I did not know this. Yeah. So. I mean, I didn't either. (laughs) Fast forward to my wardrobe (laughs) fail. Here's the story. Oh, my God. So I was in Boston because I was going to, I was invited by a friend to go to this uh, fundraiser at the Institute of Contemporary Art that was celebrating um, women artists. And I was so excited to go. And the Institute of Contemporary Art, if you're going to a luncheon there, which I have never done, I thought, okay, this is going to be a cool group of people. Mm. And A really cool group of women. Yes. So I gotta, I gotta put on like a really cool. I'm into art outfit. Yes. Oh, I'm into art. Yes. yes. So I pull out a pair of black pants that I have not worn in probably eight years. Now's and the day. Now's the day. Yeah. Now's the day. Yeah. And they're very like stretchy fabric, and they were the kind of pants that I wore when I had to go into corporate settings. Okay. So really nicely tailored. Mm-hmm. You can see everything in the rear end. So oh. I'm like, this would be a great moment to wear my bodysuit. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. right. And I've also pulled out a sweater that is a ribbed sweater. So it's tight. Right. And yeah. the sweater is, is the boldest colors. So I'm going for like the pop art look. <gasps> right. Nice. I've got on black nice. pants. I got on black heeled boots and I've got on this tight ribbed sweater that is bold stripes. Yeah. I'm talking where's Waldo. I look like human caution tape. It is white and then it is yellow Ooh. and then it is brown and then it is black. I'm like, a, like a bumblebee. S- kind of love it. Yes. Yeah. That's a good art. You're making outfit. a statement. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I looked great. Yeah. Yeah. And the shapewear pulled it all in. I'm like, this is great. Great. I look like I support art. I look really <laughs> cool, but not pretentious. Yeah. I got like the pop thing going. Wow. The mm. color is all springy. Yes. And so I get in the car. Things are really good. Mm-hmm. I'm listening to great music. Things are really good. I get downtown mm. to Boston. Yeah. Things are really good. I find a parking space in a parking garage a couple blocks away from the ICA. Things are really good. I get out of the car. And going from sitting to standing up sort of made the bodysuit go from really good to not so great. Mm. Because that thong started to turn into a wedgie. Oh, no. Now, I get out of the car and I try to reach back and pull it down a little while I'm in the parking garage, right? Yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah. And I can't Can't get a grip. That's a two-hand job. Yes, but I don't know that. Right. And plus I'm plus the thing is starting in about five minutes. So I got to I got to go. So I stick my hand down the back of my pants and try to just like move it. Yeah. Down yeah. A little. yeah. And that works. That works. I literally I'm embarrassed Good. to tell you this. Don't okay. be. 
<laughs> what do you think I did next? Did you wash your hands? No, I smelled it. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. No. No. It did not smell bad. And I'm like, okay. Whew. Okay. So. <laughs> what? Did, you smelled your hand? Yes. No. Let me no. tell you something. What? Yes. But why? Why are we doing this? Why are we smelling Why your would hands? you because smell your hand? Because I am about to walk into an event where I'm going to see my friends. Yeah. And I don't want to give them a hug if I have poop hands. Yeah. But okay. not like actual poop. No. But I don't want my hand to smell like that. Yeah. I can't say I've ever smelled someone's hand, though. I know, but I just felt like if but it if smelled it, bad, like there's something like oh, not cool. Really? There would somebody. be. I am or, outnumbered or on this. What if somebody... <laughs> what if somebody that I don't know is standing next to one of my friends and I hug my friend and I keep my hand off of my friend, <laughs> but then somebody goes, it's nice to meet you. And they <laughs> extend your hand. Well, it's on you for not putting some san hand sanitizer on those. Hands. I don't have hand sanitizer in my <sighs> car. So I, I just know what, wanted what to plan clear, B is on that. like I wanted to have a clear yeah. conscience yeah. walking into this. Place. Yeah. It's like checking your breath. <laughs> yes. Yes. Check your, yes. like just oh, do that. So yeah. I, I, I'm, I it's get relatable. it. You it get is it. relatable. I think it's actually a very conscientious thing to yes, do for other people. Yes, it is true. It is true. Okay. It's conscientious. I'll, I'll start doing it. But also a lot of people wouldn't admit that. So props to you for just telling all the details of the story. You know. Getting into That's what I'm here it. for. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'm good. I have five minutes to get two city blocks to an event that's about to begin. Yeah. And so I start to walk and I'm, as I'm, what's it called? Forward ambulation. That's what the <laughs> neuroscientists call it. I'm forward ambulating as I walk. And as I'm walking and I'm walking like I'm late because I'm yeah. about to be late. I'm realizing I have a very long torso oh. because as I'm walking, this freaking bodysuit is starting to slowly inch up. <laughs> And the oh, bodysuit is starting to give me a simultaneous <laughs> wedgie in the front and the back, which basically means I had both a camel toe and a piece of floss oh. that was starting to go up and up and up like a hammock <laughs> from the front to the back. And so now I can't stride it out because I'm going to split myself mm -hmm. in half. And so now I'm <laughs> shuffling as fast as I possibly can because yeah. I don't want a big stride. And oh, I no. walk into the, or shuffle into the ICA, and there is my friend. And I walk right up to her, and I give her a big hug, and I whisper in her ear, I've got a giant wedgie <laughs> in my bodysuit. I've got to find them, but where's the bathroom? She's like, oh, my God, oh, my God, I, that's the worst feeling. Yeah. She's like, it points to the thing, and she goes, I'll save you a seat, okay? And so I'm like, oh, my God, I love you. Don't you love friends like yes. that? Yes, Oh, So I shuffle to the bathroom. This thing is so far up me. Uh, that I drop my pants to the floor. And to your point, Jesse, this is a two-hand yeah. We've maneuver. all been there. Yeah. Yes. I have to grab both sides. Front and back. Oh, I didn't start there. Oh, you started oh. on your side? I started on the side. Interesting. Move. You know, I think that's a gentler approach. I needed approach. some slack. Yeah. <laughs> I needed to create some slack because it's and as some if extra. This bodysuit <laughs> showed itself to you as a, as a Barbie outfit. You got it to expand. Yes. It was like it was like the pumpkin turned into a carriage, mm. and then all of a sudden, <laughs> it snaps back to Barbie mm. suit for you. Yes, like mm. at the wrong yeah. time. Yeah. Yes, you know. Yes, like and so right back to the pumpkin, and it you you haven't even gotten to the dance yet, and you're like this this is a difficult yeah. situation. Oh so I God. get the, I get the like sides thing. You need the slack. Yes. I think that was a good strategy. Yeah, I'm like, no. <laughs> like yeah. A, oh, you did a hard down. pull down. Yes, because I wanted a couple inches. Yes. Okay. And plus this thing, it basically like rolled up almost like a string, oh, right? Because God. it was so stretched. Yes. And I have to flatten the landing strip back out so it doesn't do it again. <laughs> I just want to tell you, I, my heart is racing for this story. Like I'm really feeling this. Like I'm a little bit starting to sweat and I'm feeling myself like yeah, really... It's very it, relatable. Yes. But, you know, here's the thing, and I have to give myself props. The old me would have just been, like, embarrassed and, like, why can't you do that? And I just was like, this is the craziest. I was laughing at myself. 
Good. And I think that's yes. so important in life to be able to whisper in your friend's ear that you got a wedgie, to be able to laugh at yourself as you're in a bathroom <laughs> in like what you think is the best art forward outfit that you've ever put on <laughs> in a brand new body suit that you've yeah. never tested like yeah. in a real life situation. <laughs> yeah. I am yanking it down on the sides to give me a couple extra inches so that I can straighten out the middle and get it repositioned in place. <laughs> Un- unsnapping it was not an option because what happens when you unsnap a bodysuit? Oh, I it the snaps hit your teeth, it goes Yeah, up basically so far. rolls up like yeah. a window oh. shade. And plus this thing, like I was afraid if I unsnap it, it's going to hang out the front and the back. And God knows it's now got stuff on it because I don't have underwear on. And I'm like, this is a disaster. It has been up there. Yeah, you don't know. Yes. And so I get it all positioned. And the problem is, is that now as I'm pulling it down, it's pulling off my boobs. Oh, no. Like it's not on your boobs anymore. No. And so I have a torso. Yes, I have a long torso. Yeah. So I now look like, what is it, the Heineken or the St. Pauli girl? St. Pauli girl with it. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got a rib too. sweater, so you can see the nipples and everything else. So I'm like <laughs> yanking this thing <laughs> oh, what to a try mess. to stretch it out. <laughs> I finally, you know, it didn't even occur to me. I could have just taken it off and been nude. <laughs> it didn't even occur to me. Is it, I, it wouldn't have occurred to me yeah. either. You don't want to be that You're person an art at the studio. Art they, studio. Yeah, they wouldn't yeah. care. You don't want to be that person. So I um, get it all positioned. I, of course, wash my hands. Good. Yep. <laughs> Everyone can exhale now. Yep. Yep. Yes. And I go back to the luncheon. And what's your attitude? Like, I've got this, or are you like, oh, I of course worried? told a bunch of people because, like, I think it's hilarious, and I think everybody and I can think, relate to it. I think but everybody you, can relate, yeah. and I think a lot of times people look at you and they're like, wow, you know, she doesn't give her shit. She's got her act together. What a badass! <laughs> I think that's true. And then I, I have to give it to you, Mel. You take it up a notch. <laughs> <laughs> not only do you not give a shit, but you make you make fun of yourself. You know, you, yeah. you let everybody in on the joke. You'll tell people. I yeah. am the joke. Guess what? Like, you it's are like, the joke. It is a jo- but it's a relatable yeah. joke. And I yes. think yeah. it's an interesting point that you just made about the kind of distinction between not giving a shit versus being able to laugh at yourself because yeah. they are related, but it's a different thing. And I think both are really important. Um, the not giving a shit part is the ability to whisper in your friend's ear. Yeah. That mm-hmm. you have a wedgie right now mm-hmm. and to tell people the disaster just happened in the bathroom. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and that is one layer that I think is really important. And the second thing though, which has been very freeing for me is just like loosening the grip Mm -hmm. and being able to laugh at these moments. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's interesting because humor, we've done a lot of research on humor because of speeches that I've given or other projects that we've done for audible. And there's so much research about having a sense of humor Mm -hmm. and how, when you have a sense of humor, the, the research is kind of bananas. In fact, why don't we take a break? And this is a great time to allow our sponsors to entertain you for a second and let's dig into the research real quick while you guys are listening to a commercial because i think it's important to explain that humor is actually a really important skill and asset in life oh yeah Yeah. and if i recall correctly it's like it makes other people think you're intelligent they trust you more it exudes confidence yeah in the workplace in in, and i realize this was not in the workplace i mean it was like a professional event yeah but it was it was it was professional though you know it wasn't like you were sitting on the couch with your girlfriends but there's all this research about leadership and teams Mm. when it comes to having a sense of humor now i would not tell your boss you had a thong wedgie up your ass i would not do that (laughs) yeah but i think there's a lot here to unpack and by the way i'm not done with the story oh, god. oh my god there's more <laughs> there's a lot more yes. all right and i'll tell you all of it when we come back <laughs> okay welcome back it's your friend mel and i'm here with my colleagues and friends amy and jesse in our studios and we're doing a jump on the mic episode which basically means i rolled in here hot with a story to tell <laughs> and now we're making something of it but i was just mm-hmm. talking about this massive uh shapewear wardrobe malfunction and where were we? So here we here we are, and then we got to get to the humor thing because I think that's the big takeaway here. Oh yes, mm-hmm. yeah. Laugh, laugh, laugh at yourself. You have to be able to laugh at yourself mm-hmm. um, because 
honestly, the second you start laughing at a situation, this is the most ridiculous thing I've gotten myself into. Why do you always do this to yourself, Mel? Like, yeah. it can go two different ways, right? I could either be shuffling toward this museum, beating myself up for buying the wrong size, always getting it wrong, screwing things up, running late, or I can be laughing at myself. <laughs> Yeah. At how ridiculous this is. Of course I've done this to myself. Of yeah. course I would have a thong up my ass the first time I am going mm -hmm. to this like really nice thing. This is the first time since like the last three years that I've gone to something this nice. Mm -hmm. And of course I'm having a massive wardrobe problem. Yeah. But th So this is not all. So as I'm sitting at the luncheon and I'm trying to squeeze my butt together. It's like a butt exercise so that the thing doesn't adjust back to <laughs> snapping back to the normal size. It is slowly starting to itch up again. Oh, no. Yeah. While you're sitting this Yes. Time? And uh -oh. so as we walk back to the parking garage, I'm with a friend, one of my closest friends, Lisa. And I am just like, she's just like, stop picking at that wedgie. Stop picking at that wedgie. <laughs> you can't stop. Just unsnap Your the damn thing. Smell. And I'm like, I can't unsnap the thing. First of <laughs> all, I can't unsnap it because I'm in a public space. Yeah. And yeah. trying to unsnap a bodysuit in a discreet way is next to impossible. No. And so my only choice is to try to pick at it. And so we get down <laughs> oh. to the parking garage. Thank God no one was around. In the parking lot, the parking yeah, lot level. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's a busy parking garage. Lisa's right there. We go to her car first so I don't have to walk that far, and then she drives me to my car mm. so that I don't have to keep <laughs> dealing with this. I get out of the thing, and I open up my car door and step behind it. I mean, good, I do have some good. decorum. I'm not yeah. going to, like, drop yeah. my pants, you know, and make Lisa watch this. So I literally <laughs> unsnap it. Whoa. It rolls up like a window shade. <laughs> Question: Are your pants still down? Are you able to do this with your pants? Like oh no! Around? I have to take my pants like down. They're down, okay. and I have to kind okay. of squat so now and do the yank yeah. down again. I you're getting snap it. A full breeze now. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> if you think taking a bra off or a pair of bike shorts off, yeah, for you gentlemen out there, feels liberating. Mm -mm. Try unsnapping a thong bodysuit that's too small <laughs> mm. that has been slowly constricting your circulation for two hours. Oh my God. While you ate poached salmon and asparagus. Mm -mm. Right. I just wanted to stand there for a minute with my yeah. legs shoulder width apart. You know, just. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just oh. uh, it's it's expansion from all sides. It's not oh. just the bra. Yeah, it's yeah. like you. That is the definition of let loose. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> you let it all loose. And sure enough, just as I suspected, you know, it rolls up. I I button my pants back up. I step out from a side the side of the door. I shut the door. Lisa is laughing hysterically because now, of course, I have a. I have the front part hanging down in front oh. and the back part like a tail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she's laughing and I'm laughing and I'm like, you got to take a picture of this. You yeah. got to take a picture mm -hmm. of this, dude. That's like, great. this is hilarious. Yeah. I got to remember this. And so she goes, well, I got to back the car up so I can get a good angle. And I'm like, okay. So she starts backing the car up. I can't make this up. And she freaking hits a parking pylon. Oh, she shit. She just about has a heart attack. Luckily, oh, it was plastic and not a concrete one. <laughs> So now I'm doubled over <laughs> laughing with the unsnapped bodysuit hanging out of my ah. pants. And oh my I'm God. like, what should I do? What should I do? And she's like, just step over there and strike a pose. So I kind of put my arm up on my head. <laughs> I look like this exasperated freedom look. <laughs> she snaps a photo. And when we look at it, we cannot believe it. I got to show you this. this. Sorry. You cannot believe this photo. <laughs> Let me just show you this. Holy guacamole. I want you to look at the sign that is above me and read it to whatever <laughs> oh read it to everybody. Caution dead end. <laughs> and it's in black and white and yellow. And my sweater perfectly. is a yeah. yellow, black, and white striped <laughs> bumblebee sweater. Yeah. This looks like <laughs> some art director. It's perfectly curated yeah. the way you did it. Yeah. Curated yeah. the, the, the angles the is depth. a work of art. It people. is the yeah. palette, the pose, really. Yeah, with the nude skimwear too. Yeah, and, right but in. I love that it's all about 
humor. It's yes. not like, oh, yeah. we created this awesome yeah. moment together that was a put. It was just fun through and through. And when you look at that, you think of Lisa, you think of laughing, mm -hmm. right? Like I think you of just women in art. You think I think <laughs> right. of, of poached salmon. <laughs> right. I think of my friend Robin who invited me to this. Yes. I think Aww. about like my memorable moment in the bathroom shuffling across. I think about shuffling uh, across the uh, the harbor in the seaport. Like yes. I just like think of all of it. Right. And I also just laugh. Yeah. And I will remember this moment for the rest of my life because of the humor. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Turning mm -hmm. something embarrassing and somewhat painful into something hilarious and relatable shifted everything about it. And I wanted to share this story. And by the way, we will share the photo with you. If you're watching on YouTube, congratulations, because you've already seen it. <laughs> if you are listening to this, just look in the show notes and we will link to this photo. But we we, we uh, tape all of our podcast episodes. We put up longer, unedited, unabridged kind of versions of it behind the scenes stuff if you ever want to check that out but I mean it's just so funny and and it kind of brings me full circle to this idea of how do you use how do you develop a sense of humor because just like I had to like unsnap the hold that the <laughs> yeah. body suit had <laughs> yeah. and it created so much freedom yeah for me. yeah when you unsnap the judgment and the seriousness and the got to be perfect and act like a robot mentality that so many of us have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're missing out on one of the greatest joys in life, which is learning how to laugh at yourself. Like yeah, it's one thing true. to not give a shit about what other people think. And we, for those of you interested, we did a incredible podcast about the art of not giving a shit. Mm -hmm. Hugely popular. Uh, you can check that out. We'll link it to the show notes, but this is about something else. It's about, allowing yourself the freedom to be human and learning how to laugh at yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and Amy, I want to bring you into this because you are a stand-up comic. You do improv. You, yeah. you you actually perform on stages. Yeah, at a at a amateur level, but yeah. Yeah, because becoming someone who looks at the world in a funny way is not just something that you're you're born with. You can really get funnier. Mm. And you can develop a sense of humor. Hmm beyond anything that you think that you have right now. And I think mm. it's worthwhile. Oh, I do too. Like, I think like if you unpack that story, which it's like pretty funny. Yeah. But I think it's funny because it's relatable. Yes. Yeah. And it's also funny because it's the things that we don't talk about. And I think when you make fun of yourself, you allow people to bond with you mm -hmm. over the th shit that's relatable in life. Yeah. We all do it. Yeah. 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 And so I... I think that that's a piece of it. Like if I had to give any advice about it, cause this is something that I've been working on because I've always been so hard at myself and learning how to laugh at yourself, not in like a condescending, like, Oh, but more like that's fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny that I just constantly do whatever it is yep. that I do. Yep. And, yeah. and it allows other people in. And I think that's the thing that people miss. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the thing that I admire most about you. And I think that's the thing that, that stood out to me the most in this story is that you don't keep it to yourself and just say, Oh gosh, right. I'm, I'm right. what that, this is really funny. I can't believe this is happening. You do not do things in a whisper, you know, you do them out loud <laughs> And let everybody in. I can just imagine all the women at your table and you're saying like, guys, I just, anybody else have a thong problem right now? Because I, you know, and then, and then people are not thinking about their own insecurities or judgments or, yeah. or, uh, what's happening to them in that moment. They're thinking about your stuff and laughing about it to share laughter like that especially with people you don't know or just getting to know. I mean, what a gift that is. And it well, goes like social media. Like you posted it. Oh, of course. Other yes. people would be like, oh God, I can only show the pretty, of course. The pretty pictures where I'm all done up. No one's going to know that I've got a massive thumb. I'm not going to talk about it. But Mel's like, no, no, here's my art outfit with a wedgie. Yeah. yeah. With it hanging out. Yes. Yeah. And I also, that's also why I post the ridiculous photos of myself where I'm just in real life, kind of hideous because I laugh at myself. Yeah, yeah. it's funny. Yeah. It's really funny. And, we all and, like and, and here's the other thing that I just got, that the metaphor for not allowing yourself to laugh and not sharing that with other people is your whole life becomes like you're wearing a bodysuit that's too small. 
Mm. It constricts you. It suffocates you. It cuts off your life force and your circulation. And that there's something available to you when you lighten up. And we did do a little bit of research very quickly. I, I will link to the studies, but just the things that I jotted down are really important. Like, first of all, people respect leaders mm -hmm. that are funny mm -hmm. more than people who aren't. Yeah. And the research shows that a sense of humor, when we meet somebody with a sense of humor, we believe that somebody with a sense of humor, I'm not talking about an inappropriate one, an appropriate sense of humor, we believe they're confident, mm. we believe they're more powerful, we immediately raise up their status, we think they're intelligent, mm -hmm. and they tend to be somebody we like more because there is this like bond that gets created between somebody that cracks jokes, makes fun of themselves, makes fun of a situation that feels relatable and true, it's like letting you in mm -hmm. on something personal. Yeah. Trust. And here's another thing. When it comes to work, this is really interesting. 98% of executives, according to one study, said they would prefer an employee with a sense of humor. Wow. Mm -hmm. And 84% of those same leaders believe that people with a sense of humor do better work. Mm -hmm. wow, those are high numbers, high numbers. And I think it goes beyond that class clown thing, yes. you know, like somebody that's just funny is really likable. And you know, that funny is, is cute and funny makes uh, time pass and mm -hmm. funny, you know, um, it's like attention. Yeah. But it's, yeah. <laughs> funny begs attention. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's funny is, is a power mm -hmm. it's a it's a superpower that you can have yeah it is it creates a dynamic that two people or many people join in on that really changes your perspective of the mm -hmm. world which i think is fascinating and i love it i love how you could have just had this wedgie and felt really angry with yourself <laughs> and thrown the skins and, out oh my gosh and it just could have uh, ended there lot. but instead we all get to laugh at it you're yeah. laughing at the table with the, all the ladies we're laughing about it now and it's and it's brightening my day and it's making my mood a little bit better yeah. and it's you know it's a gift it really yeah. is a gift well i think that's the invitation to you listening is as you go through your day to day something embarrassing or funny is probably going to happen just notice it and then notice whether or not you're laughing at yourself or you're laughing at other people. It could be as something like, you know what happens to me all the time? I spill on myself all the time, <laughs> Same. Yeah. all the time. And yeah. when I do, I don't change my shirt or my pants. <laughs> I just make a joke of it. Why? Because it's funny. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. we can all relate to it. And yeah. so there is an invitation here, whether it's a wardrobe failure or it's something that you do at work today that's super embarrassing, or it's the fact that you're talking to your kid's teacher and all of a sudden you belch in the middle of the sentence and then you both burst out laughing. Or what about the time that I farted at work? And I thought Jesse oh, such a great day. was going to lose her mind. <laughs> yes. She was laughing so hard. We had to stop down work for three minutes, you guys, because she could not get control of herself. Yeah. And so oh, you know what I did next? It. The second I felt one coming, I actually pushed it out because I knew if I did a second one, she would lose her goddamn mind, and she did. Yeah. And so I just feel like, stop taking yourself so damn seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Learning to lighten up and loosen the grip and unsnap the uh, life bodysuit you got on yourself mm -hmm. and be a little human, it lets people in, it lets up the pressure on you, mm -hmm. it makes you more relatable, mm -hmm. it makes yeah. you seem smarter and more confident, because you are. Because it takes a confident person the ability to look at life and those dumbass situations that happen and turn it into a joke mm -hmm. instead of something to ruminate about. Yes. Love All right. That. I'm off my soapbox now. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's great. And it lets more love in, yes, which is what we're talking does. about yes. all the time, you yes. know? And and sometimes, like, you can't be funny. Like, you know, if you feel like you're not funny, I'm not, I, I'm not funny. I can't be funny. You're fucking funny. Just, well, I'm just saying, if you, I mean, I feel like I can't be a lot of the time. But, yes, <laughs> if you, if you feel like, oh, I don't have a great sense of humor. I can't make that funny. Yeah. You could still laugh at it. Laugh at somebody else's joke, you know? Yeah. Like, help somebody else kind of get through their day with a smile or a little bit or of a laugh. Or your kids. 
or the people oh, you mentor gosh, or yes. like teaching your kids how to laugh at them. What a gift. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you spilled all the, the whole box of Cheerios. That's hilarious. On, and then you put the chocolate sauce on top of them <laughs> and now it's all over your and you rolled in it. You guys great. are so funny. <laughs> yeah. Like that's just a great thing. Amazing. Yeah. You know what else is going to be funny? The bloopers on mm. this episode. Yeah. Epic. Epic. All righty. Yeah. In case nobody else tells you, I'm going to tell you, I love you and I believe in you and your ability to laugh at yourself. Do you guys want to say anything? No. You got this. We got this. Yeah. All right. I love you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, loosen the tie, take off the bra, pull off the bike shorts, unsnap the bodysuit, let it all hang out and laugh a little. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> My Ooh. mic, Amy? Amy. Yeah. What do you want to know? Put Amy down. Amy it's what my parents would say all the time. Just put oh her down. My God. Just, you know, don't let her feel good. I'm just kidding. Woo! Oh, I'm so glad you tuned in today because I'm rolling in here hot. I thought you were going to say I'm rolling with my homies. <laughs> but no homies. What the hell is that sound? Oh, my God. Oh, can you hear that, Andrea? Wow. That's a big piece of machinery. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of Sarah Blakely. No, that's not her name. Yeah. No, that's the famous actress. Ba Blakely? Blake Lively? Blake, Blake Lively. Lively. <laughs> Who am I thinking of? Sarah Blakely. Sarah Blakely. Sarah Blakely. Yeah. Okay, I immediately had a yeah. panic that I was saying her name wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, shit. Okay, let's go wash our hands. <laughs> Body suits for everybody. Oh, and one more thing. And no, this is not a blooper. <laughs> this is the legal language. You know what the lawyers write and what I need to read to you. This podcast is presented solely for educational and entertainment purposes. I'm just your friend. I am not a licensed therapist, and this podcast is not intended as a substitute for the advice of a physician, professional coach, psychotherapist, or other qualified professional. Got it? Good. I'll see you in the next episode. It's Mel. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed that video, by God, please subscribe because I don't want you to miss a thing. Thank you so much for being here. We've got so much amazing stuff coming. Thank you so much for sending this stuff to your friends and your family. I love you. We create these videos for you. So make sure you subscribe. Mwah.